and welcome. This is Nasreen Sheikh and you're watching It's Tomorrow News. Nine dead as storm batters Spain, Portugal and France. The death toll from storms that have battered Spain, Portugal and France has risen to nine as the region brass for more violent winds and heavy rain. Storms Elsa and Fabian have flooded rivers, brought down power lines, uprooted trees and disrupted rail and air travel across the region leaving more than 118,000 households without electricity. Two people have so far died in Portugal and seven have now been killed in Spain, the worst affected country after a fisherman was swept off rocks into the sea in Catalonia. The local government said three police officers and another fisherman had to be rescued after they tried to save the man in the resort town 100 km northeast of Barcelona. The death in Spain include a South Korean woman killed by debris falling from a building in Madrid and a Dutch man who drowned wind suffering in rough weather of the Andalusian coast. As a weekend storm Elsa moved over Britain yesterday, storm Fabian quickly moved in bringing winds of 170 km per hour to Galicia in northwestern Spain, forcing the cancellation of 14 flights according to Spanish airport operator Enia. Some 8,000 households in Graslia were without power due to damage caused to power lines by the winds, local officials said. Eight Madrid city parks remain shut because of the strong winds. However, Spanish officials said today that Fabian was moving away quickly. France's weather official placed 15 regions in the southwest of the country on orange alert yesterday as a storm battered its Atlantic coast. The winds were as fast as 148 km per hour at Socoa in the southwest near the border with Spain. Even on the northwest coast of Brittany, winds reached up to 120 km per hour. Across southwestern France, violent winds left 110,000 households without electricity, officials said. Officials on the French Mediterranean island of Corsia closed all the island's airports because of the approaching storm. Ferry services to the mainland have also been suspended. Roads into Corsica city for Ajakia were also closed to try to prevent people from getting caught in floods. That's all for now. For more news updates, stay tuned with us. It's tomorrow news, Nasreen Sheikh. For more weather update like this, do like, share and subscribe our channel.